Hello, this is Charles from Cedalino Photography, and today I have a Photoshop Elements tutorial for you. But first, I want to thank Unmesh over at PixImperfect. He has this great method of creating light rays in Photoshop, but we cannot do that in Photoshop Elements. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop Elements. So let's first take a look at this photo right here. And you can see I have all these beautiful light rays. That is not what the original photo looks like. I wanna thank the person over at Pexels for being able to use their photo. I'll put the link in the description below. And then we're going to look at the original photo right here. I'm going to turn the visibility off on those layers and you can see the original photo right here. And then I added some light rays and I'm gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop Elements. So the first thing we need to do is we need to take this back to our original photo and we're going to delete these layers right here. So I'm gonna delete the layers right there and then we have our original photo. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to duplicate this layer twice. So I'm gonna have you use a keyboard shortcut Command J on a Mac Control J on a PC. It's going to duplicate that twice. And then on the top layer, we're going to go to Enhance, and we are going to convert this into a black and white photo. Choose Scenic Landscape right there, and then select OK. So what we want to do is we want to turn the pixels either black or white. In order to do that, we need to do a little bit of lighting adjustment right here with the contrast. I'm gonna take the brightness down all the way down to about 98 right there. And then I'm going to take the contrast all the way up to 100. So these pixels are going to be either black or white. There's a few that are gray in the middle, but we're not gonna worry about those. Select OK. And then we're going to select our magic wand tool right there. You can also click A on the keyboard, tapping the A key. If you do not see the magic wand tool and maybe your selection tool came up like that, then you wanna make sure you go down under this tool palette right here and then select the magic wand tool. If you don't see any of these, maybe you opened it up and you're on quick edit or guided edit. You need to be an expert edit so that you can get all these tools right over here. And then this tool palette will appear on the bottom. Now click on one of the pixels that are black, and that's gonna select all the black pixels on your image. Now what we need to do is we need to take the inverse of that. So I'm gonna have you use Command-Shift-I if you are on a Mac, or Control-Shift-I if you are on a PC. And that's gonna select all the white pixels. Now we really don't need this layer anymore. If you can't see your layers in the layer palette, Go down here where it says layers and click on that and you should be able to see your layers palette. I'm going to turn the visibility layer off right here and then click the layer below it, the one that says layer one. Now we can still see the marching ants on the screen. We're going to click on the one icon up here that says add layer mask. And what that's going to do is it's going to mask only those areas that are white. Now we need to select the actual photo here for the next thing that we're gonna do, so you need to click on that. Well, sometimes it doesn't let you click on it, so I have to go to the background, make sure that the blue box is around the background, and then I need to click on this layer right here, because before we were just on the mask. Now, I'm not sure what kind of glitchy thing is going on right there. You may have to click the background and then click on this thumbnail right there, and make sure your level layer one has this blue box around it. The next thing we need to do is go up into our filter and then choose blur and then choose radial blur right there. Now what we want to do is we want to make sure that wherever the center of this is, is where the sun might be. Now if you look at this photo right here, the brightest part of this picture is about right over here. So we want to approximate that by putting that center right over here. We want to use the blur method of zoom. We want to take it to 100% and we are going to choose best quality. Now this might take a little bit of time for your computer to figure out. I'm going to move this just a little bit over more here and then select OK. And then what it's going to do is it's going to create that nice blur effect 
that's going to give us the light rays on our picture. Now that it's finished, you can see that right here is about where the sun would be. If I don't like that exact position right there, maybe it's hidden behind the tree and I want to get it over just a little bit more, I'm going to use the command Z and that's going to do an undo right there. And I'm going to go back to filter. Make sure you don't use this radius blur up here because that's just going to redo with all your settings. Go back down to blur and use radial blur right there. And then I want to take this over just a tiny bit to the right and select OK again. And let's see if the sun lines up to where I want it to do. It's going to take a few seconds to put that radial blur filter on my picture. Now that it's done, you can see the sun looks like it is behind this area right here, which is about the brightest part of our image. Now the next thing that we want to do to enhance this, you may like it just as it is. But if you want to enhance it a little bit more, we're just going to duplicate this layer, which is a Command-J or a Control-J on your PC, and you're just going to duplicate it however many times that you want the light rays to protrude from the trees. Now, I kind of like that right there. If you don't like it, the good thing is, is that you can turn this visibility layer off right there and choose the amount of light rays that you want to have coming through your image. Now we want to take it to file and we're going to do a save as and then we're going to choose JPEG. Now if you want to keep this so that you can uh, play with it later you can save it out as a Photoshop document but I'm going to save it out as a JPEG. I'm going to give it the name Light Rays and then I will click save. Now what I normally do is 12.7 megabytes is a little bit big, so I'm going to take this down to a 10 quality right there and select OK. Now my image is saved as a JPEG. Please stay tuned for more tutorials on Photoshop Element. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Cheers!